It's fully giving Wes Anderson vibes, I'm here for it. But hi, good morning, how are you? Welcome to the south of France. Best butter ever. I got an Eshity butter, which I fucking paid like 20 bucks for this butter to be imported to me like two months ago, and it's only five euros here. It's okay, it's worth it. Really good butter. Mm. Why is bread butter so good? I think it's ever since I watched that one Tyra Banks movie where she was like a Barbie. The way she eats it just makes you want a piece of bread and butter. She's like, Mm. And then she bites the butter. Mm. <laughs> she really sold me on it. I've never seen this before. I also made myself some lemon tea for my throat. It's a very lemony night. Chill night. <coughs> Much needed. It looks like a little egg tart or creme brulee. Mmm! Oh my god, I have to go get more. It's like soft and chewy, yet crisp. Oh my god. It's that chewy texture for me. I feel like I'm living in a movie right now. So peaceful. Is this the afterlife? Feels like it. I think next time I come to France, I will be much more prepared with my French. I actually bought a French course a month ago. Super beginner level. Spent maximum 15 minutes on the intro page. <laughs> I feel like I need to dedicate every day at least like 30 minutes to it and then we can get somewhere. Shoot, I'm still trying to brush up on my Vietnamese, you know? That's really my priority and then we can get to other languages, but it would be nice. This is my cute little setup. Probably gonna watch a Studio Ghibli movie or something like that. This place is just massive. All of the exhibitions and stuff that you can go to. Make a trip out to this place if you can. It's so dreamy. Yeah, this place really makes you feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland walking through all of these crazy pieces of art. Seeing the Louise Bourgeois spider is always a fucking joy. Probably one of my favorite sculptures that are placed around the world. So crazy. And then also eating inside the restaurant designed by Tidal Ando. Insane. Good burger. It's fine. I mean, take a look. I think for the rest of the night, I'm gonna make an espresso. I should do some editing, but I really am not in the mood to. I just want to draw and meditate. I need to meditate after the traffic today. Um, other than that, it was. It's been the best day. Okay, coffee time. Let's make an espresso. 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 Ooh, how many people did I bother? 
All of these are so cute. They're from Ikea. We need this. We're just drinking espresso, baby. We're really sophisticated. Stepping out in France like this, okay? Also, I have to say, I fucking love sugar cubes now. I'm gonna go get some when I get back to the States. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, sugar cube. Plop. Mix it up. I don't know why I'm drinking espresso right now. Ugh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> really wanted a, a shot of me sleeping in this fun pink bed. Look at this color. Never in a million years would I think a salmon, dark, dusty pink would be appealing to me. It's fully giving Wes Anderson vibes. I'm here for it. But hi, good morning, how are you? Welcome to the south of France. Okay. You didn't see that? I didn't eat gummies and pockies last night in bed while watching Friends. But I did, and these are bomb. Okay, let me show you. These are the gummies that I've been absolutely obsessed with that I found here in France. They taste like sour belts with a hint of cream. I think I talked about them already. And then also I found Pockies here, but they're called Mikado. And this is the chocolate Olay flavor. It's by the Pocky brand Glico. I think it's in collaboration with Lou, which is another really good biscuit company. <laughs> It's made in France and delicious. I think I'm gonna head down to the beach. Today I just really wanna chill. I was going to go to the Kalank, the cave, insert picture here. But the hike is just, listen, I'm all about nature, love nature so much. However, I am pooped, I'm tired. I just wanna chill, relax a little bit. I'm just so happy being in here. This is really what I wanted. But anyway, the hike to the Kalank is intense. It's very intense. I really recommend you guys to watch YouTube videos that show how to get to certain destinations because a lot of the times we see these beautiful hidden areas or whatnot, but we don't know the trek to get there. And there are many times where I kind of went into things a little blindly and found myself almost getting lost or not being prepared, not bringing enough snacks and stuff on hikes. So yeah, I'm gonna skip that and just go down to the beach and chill around there. There's a cute coffee shop. I have to return my rental today. It's literally been a dream here. People say that Marseille is dangerous or the most dangerous city in France or something like that, but I haven't been outside enough to feel like I'm in danger or walk around enough. I've just literally been enjoying this stay here and went up to Chateau Lacoste yesterday. See, I can't, I can't give you a review on Marseille. I think next time I come down to south of France since I've, I've gotten this experience, which was my goal, then I would go to I on Provence, I think that's how you say it, or Nice. Nice little getaway. Oh, I can't wait to go up to the rooftop at sunset tonight. Apparently, it's something that you can't miss if you stay here. Let's go cook in the special kitchen. I'm gonna 
try to remake the first meal that I had when I landed in Paris. It's just a simple breakfast. It was a croissant, sunny side up eggs, cut up ham. I was able to find fresh ham for three euros at the supermarket. It was just so simple. It was juice, coffee, bread with butter. Something about it was just so good and I know it's so simple. Maybe it was just the feeling of me being in the city finally. I've just been craving it ever since. Thankfully, this place has salt and pepper and oil. Cooking in this kitchen feels almost like a toy kitchen in the best way possible. I definitely feel the rustic vibe that this iconic kitchen carries. I don't know, I'm just really excited to cook something in it. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter to her. Right now, I'll add that to the baguette. Some salt, some pepper. Oh shit! <laughs> That's way too much! Oh crap. Okay. Please don't pop at me. Oh, a spoon would be so much better. All right, fixed. I'm going cute. Cute ham. I know that's not what it means, but. $300 French course down the drain. No, I'm just kidding, I'll get on it. It'll be for my next trip. Oh, it was supposed to sizzle. Well. The bread I bought this morning is a different kind of baguette. Very bouncy texture, very chewy, but it kind of has like a sourdough taste to it. It was labeled as just baguette. That was interesting, but it tastes so good with the butter. Honestly, anything tastes good with the butter. When I was little, my mom used to get us baguettes from Lee Sandwiches or Mr. Baguette, and spread butter, and then sprinkle sugar on it. I know it sounds so bad, but that's what I grew up with. And then she would give me half of her Vietnamese iced coffee. Honestly, I just grew up with caffeine in my system, and um, I think I turned out okay. I think. I don't know. Mm, this ham smells so good. I really like the ham here because it isn't crazy salty. I'm like Dora the Explorer, but Asian. So let's make a little yogurt parfait with the fruits I bought at the market. The strawberries here have been hitting. I got the Bon Maman Vanilla Naturel Yogurt. Haven't seen these in the States either, so maybe I'm just shopping at the wrong places. And then we have our beautiful strawberries. They're so fragrant. You can smell them through the bag. This is how you know they're organic. See, so you see this one? You also get the little baby one. What do you think? Bon appetit. Mm. 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 The yogurt is not too tart. It tastes more like ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. But there's sweetness and a little bit of tartness from the strawberries. And if you know vanilla brings out flavors in other things, so the strawberry scent is even stronger. So good. It's probably so good because of this view too. I'm gonna go enjoy this. BRB.
Thank you.